We got Thursday Big Dance Action LaSalle taking on Wichita State, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Wichita State, a four point favorite, the total 135 and a half. You know, it's funny when teams reach the Sweet 16, and they're maybe not the teams that a lot of people thought would get there through their brackets. You, you have to kind of start removing that fluke factor, so to speak, because you win one game sometimes if you're not a top seed, it is fluky. You win a second game, it isn't always that way. But when I looked at what LaSalle did with Ole Miss, <laughs> now they were never out of the game by any means, yeah. but Mississippi was horrible at the free throw line, cost themselves a chance to move on in that game on Sunday. Ole Miss goes 10 for 21 from the charity stripe, and they also relatively late in the game, three or four minutes to go. They had a chance to look like they were kind of pulling away, yeah. open up a five-point lead, and then LaSalle had a five-point possession that tied the game up. They win the game late. So give them credit, obviously, but Mississippi could have played a little bit better basketball game. Now, if they're missed shots because the team's playing great defense, that's one thing. But when you go 10 for 21 from the charity stripe, that's another. Now, as far as Wichita is concerned, they were lights out, 14 for 28, 50% from area code three against Gonzaga. That was after handling a Pittsburgh team, Marco, your hometown team, that looked like they wanted to be anywhere but the big dance. Well, let me tell you, Wichita State, Wichita State right now is my least favorite team in the I tournament. <laughs> they knocked, the, yeah, they knocked out my Pitt Panthers, and uh, I only lost one game last weekend, but unfortunately, Scott, it was the game that mattered. It was my, you know, my tournament game sure. of the year, and so I'm not happy with the Wichita, uh, Wichita State. I can't, can't even say it. No, it's just that bad. But I watched this game yesterday with LaSalle and Mississippi because I was involved in that game. I had the over in it. And when they're missing the foul shots, I'm like, if I don't get this over because of all these foul shots you're leaving on the floor. But the other part with Mississippi, what they didn't do well is they were horrible from three-point range. Sure. Only four of 19 where LaSalle was hitting three-pointers right. all day. Um, this is a game that I like the over on Sunday because – LaSalle was playing their third game in five days. If you remember, LaSalle had to do the play-in game on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Then they had to fly to Kansas City on Friday to play and then come back on Sunday. So I thought it was going to be an up-tempo team We've game. We talk about it all the time. Tired teams don't play great defense. Sure. Flipping the script to this one, I this is your free pick, but I have an opinion on the game more on the total than the game itself. I think that we're going to go back to a low-scoring game because, one, I, Wichita State plays great defense. Right. This Wichita State team, they've held six of their last ten opponents um, to uh, – or excuse me, four of their last five to 37% or less from the mm -hmm. field. And LaSalle, on the flip side, what's going to hurt them is I don't like their defense. Six of their last ten opponents have shot 49% or better against sure. this team. So if they fall behind, Wichita State's not going to be as gracious at the foul line with them. So that's going to put uh, a struggle on LaSalle. But I see a slower pace total. Also, when you go to the first of the two games each week, mm -hmm. I've always believed that the first game, like the Thursday or Friday games, rather than the Saturday, Sundays, tend more to the unders than the over because the coaches have four or five days sure. to prepare a game plan to stop their opponent. After the first game, you've got one day right. to prepare a game plan and implement it. So another reason why I lean to the under. All right, well, this was my free pick, and I got a side. Let's get to it. I like that rationale. It's one of the things I looked at when looking at this game as far as having the time to prepare for what LaSalle does. And one of the things they do, what they did against Boise in that so-called play-in game, they were able to give Boise a lot of problems, that Boise State backcourt, because LaSalle will go four, sometimes five guards at a time on the floor. That's not going to work against the best team they're going to have seen thus far in the big dance, and that is Wichita State. Wichita's too strong inside uh, to be thrown off by a four- or five-guard set if LaSalle tries to go that route. And they will – because you got to stick with the girl who brought you to the dance, and that's definitely what got him here. They've been very fortunate. This LaSalle team has been out-rebounded in those three tourney games by a total of 21 boards overall, and in fact, they've been out-rebounded on the offensive end by 21 boards. That's not going to work unless you're having phenomenal shooting nights and unless you're shooting above the norm, and that's what they did against Ole Miss. They shot above the norm, and Mississippi had the terrible drop-off in their shooting from both behind the arc and at the free throw line. 
line. Wichita State's a fantastic rebounding team. Even the Pittsburgh Panthers, who rebound well, found out just how good the Wichita Sh Shockers work on the blocks. And I think that, combined with the fact that LaSalle needs to go small and is going to struggle in a more deliberate half-court pace on both ends of the floor, is going to be enough to push, push Wichita State uh, to the victory. So I'm going to lay the points with Wichita State, my free pick. That goes along with Marco's under, which I happen to like also. Wichita State, the free play when we come back. We got Syracuse and Indiana, a free play for Marco. That more coming up in just a bit.